Good morning YouTube, this is Adam and I've got a few more consoles here that I've acquired. Um, so I've picked up three Xbox 360s for about $55. Um, it's a little bit out of what I normally do, but I figured for, you know, for the price, mine's starting, mine's one of the original versions. Um, not the original release, but the very next iteration, so it came out early in its life cycle. I'm running on borrowed time, so I figure um, hopefully I can get one of these running, and that can be my backup system. If I can get anything else going, that's just gravy. So um, let's take a look, and we'll see what we've got here. Uh, I've never actually opened a Xbox 360 before, so this will be interesting. Um, I don't know what's wrong with these. This black one, I'm told, works, but I don't have a power cord to test it, so I'm getting one today from a friend and we'll test that a little bit later. These white ones, I'm told, do not work. So depending on what the issue is, it may be repairable, it may be more than it's worth. But uh, I guess the only way to find out is to really just dive into it and see what we get. So I'm gonna set one of these up um, and we'll see what we've got. One thing else to notice, um, if we flip these around, <clears throat> this one on the right here, um, this is one of the earlier models. It actually does not have an HDMI cord port. Uh, you have to use the actual Xbox 360 AV connector, which I fortunately do have somewhere. So I'm going to have to hunt that down and find it. Um, this one does use HDMI, so that's easy enough to hook up. And I have the power cables for these, as is the same type of model as the one that I primarily use. So um, I guess we're going to start with the HDMI one. We'll give that a couple tests and see what works, what doesn't work, and go from there. Okay, so I've got it connected. Um, it's hooked up to my TV, and time to try it out with a game. So in the spirit of retro repairs, we're going to use Sonic Ultimate Collection. Um, may as well keep it uh, at least a little bit in the scope of this channel. So let's open it up. So right away, I'm not getting any, uh, it turns on, but the disc tray does not appear to be opening. So I don't know if it's jammed or if the motor's going bad, but, uh, so let's see if I can sync up a controller. So hold down sync, hold down the sync button here. So it turns out um, it's just been so long since I've actually sunk up a controller that I've forgotten what the button is. It's this one at the top, not the one I was pushing. So let's hit the sink, hit the sink. Seems to be talking. There we go. So controllers do sync up. Um, I hit the open tray button, and I'm not getting anything. So, in this case, it seems like the uh, motor is just spinning when we're trying to do this. So, I'm suspecting there might be a broken... There's a little elastic band in there that helps the uh, get the drive in through to the uh, tray. And I'm suspecting that might be gone. So, we're going to open that up in a little bit and maybe give that a bit of a clean or replace the band if that's the case. Um... But otherwise, I mean, the system appears to work, generally. I can't test if it will read a disc, though, without having a disc to put in, without the tray open. So um, that'll be for the next video where I'll check that out. Um, but on to the next one. All right, so I've got Xbox number two hooked up here. And uh, I guess we'll turn it on, try it out. So again, this is the one that does not have HDMI, so I had to use my uh, Xbox AV cable, but let's turn it on see what we get. So immediate red ring. Um, <clears throat> so I mean that's not uncommon, uh, usually means that there's an issue on the main board. So it could be the, I don't know exactly what the codes mean, <clears throat> but that could be the CPUs failing, the GPUs failing, or it could be cold solder joints. Um, a lot of the case that a lot of cases that was the issue with these early model Xboxes was um, you try and turn it on, you get this glorious red ring of death indicating that there's hardware failure. So 
for this one, we can open it up. We can uh, try and reflow the CPU and GPU, see if that does anything. I was able to salvage a PlayStation 3. This is one of the Fat Edition models doing that exact same thing. I was getting the yellow light of death, and um, basically I opened it up, took my heat gun, heated up the uh, GPU for a little while, let it cool, and it works perfectly now. So hopefully we can do something similar with this guy. So I was able to find a, uh, a list of error codes with the Xbox 360, and the one that we're looking at right here is the 3 three coat or three uh sort of semicircles lighting up so this is indicating general hardware failure one or more hardware components and no error code display on the display so i'm getting nothing on the screen and we're getting the three lights flashing with the power light illuminated nothing in that top corner if all four were lit up then we this would indicate an av cable error if two of them were lit up, it would indicate overheating. If the bottom right lit up, it would indicate hardware, but we would get an error code. So um, we're going to have to crack it open and take a general look at the board, see what we can figure out with this. Okay, so I've gotten a hold of the power cord for the slim model, and we're going to test this out to see if it works. So at first glance, it's just filthy, like there's stuff all over it. It almost looks like rust on plastic, so... Who knows what the condition of this will be. It's kind of dirty on the inside, but fingers crossed. Well, that's not a good start. Let's see if maybe we need to clean out that uh, power. Okay, solve the problem. It turns out it's just the power cord. It wasn't quite plugged in properly, so Let's start it up again. Okay. So, so far so good. So we're booting into the Xbox screen. Um, let's try and sync up a controller. So, on the Slim, I'm not actually positive how to do so. I assume it's this button. Yep, there we go. All right, perfect. All right, so here we are. Um, looks like we've got all the old person's stuff on here. So let's just skip past that. All right, so we're in. Let's open up a tray. Let's throw in the disc. Once again, of course, we use Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection. And close tray. Let's make sure that it reads. Assuming it reads, I'm going to assume this just needs a cleaning, so a little bit later we'll open it up and uh, go through a thorough cleaning on this. Disc is unreadable. Alright. So the disc does work as I've tested it on other systems, so... It could just be a dirty laser, that wouldn't surprise me. I mean, the disc is, it's not in awesome shape, but it's not bad. Let's try to give it a little bit of a wipe. But we may need to open this up and uh, clean out the laser as part of this. Well, it doesn't seem to be reading the disc still. Let's try opening again. Closing again. Nope. So this will uh, probably need to clean the laser just to make sure that that's working properly. So. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to actually go about tearing open one of the bigger Xboxes and get that working again. So thanks for viewing. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I should have part two up at the same time as I have this one. So you can
can head right on to the next one. Thanks.